Welcome to the chaos sector. Damage control. What is it? A strategy used psychologically to distract the public from the facts, the truth, the evidence, or information regarding an issue. Simply put, controlling the damage of an issue being revealed or exposed, which lessens the impact of that issue being exposed. And in some cases, damage control completely erases the issue altogether. Arizona Senator Wendy Rogers claimed that the Buffalo mass shooting was a false flag operation carried out by the FBI. Ah yes, they are quite clever, but not clever enough. Here we go again. Within the past few hours, Arizona state senators voting on whether to expel one of their own. High Country State Senator Wendy Rogers. That vote failed. Senator Rogers was not expelled. But there will be an ethics committee investigation into her social media post after she seemed to imply the racially motivated mass shooting in Buffalo was a false flag involving the federal government. ABC 15's Zach Crenshaw has more on the latest controversy involving the state senator and extremism. A shooter, a mass shooter. Just hours after 10 black Americans were killed and the shooter's racist manifesto published online, Arizona State Senator Wendy Rogers posted, Fed Boy Summer has started in Buffalo, which I have no idea what the hell that means. Many state senators have said they're confused but not extremism experts. She's saying Fed Boy Summer because she's saying the federal government was behind it. And this is something that we see frequently from extremist corners um, after these kinds of attacks. Now within this hoaxes setting, notice how they never give Rogers the benefit of the doubt. Perhaps there is evidence to suggest that it was a false flag operation, right? Before we continue, the narrative once again is based in politics. The Republican Party consists of so-called right-wing conspiracy theorists and the Democratic Party, doesn't have any interest in that way of thinking. They are quote, practical, reasonable individuals. Yeah right, it was not too long ago, when the roles were reversed, where the left were the conspiracy theorists, and the right were practical and reasonable, in the political matrix of course. Let's continue. Basically mocking what happened, in my opinion, was mocking what happened, was trying to brush off that it's not a big deal. Those experts say it is a big deal when an elected official lends credence to unfounded conspiracy theories. Talk is cheap, but I, I tell you what, it's the talk that causes the problem. The suspected shooter also believed in the racist ideology called Great Replacement Theory. In very simple terms, the white race is being replaced by everybody else. We're seeing that in, in mainstream politics now. Senator Rogers herself has tweeted about being being, quote, replaced and invaded. It is about playing on fears. It is about racism. Um, and it is, you know, absolutely the language of extremists. This is what they really wanted to talk about, so-called replacement theory. Just more garbage trending in the political matrix, rooted in race. Now remember the element of damage control. It was not only being executed by Rogers, but this new segment is also doing it as well. I will explain later. Rogers' Senate colleagues censured her back in March of this year after she called for violence and virtually appeared at a conference hosted by white nationalist Nick Fuentes. Monday, Senate Democrats were outraged. I am sick of the conspiracy theories. I am sick of the racism. Oh my days, this lady sounds so demented. She supports and advocates for abortion, yet doesn't care about the many black lives that are aborted yearly. She supports and advocates for same-sex marriage, yet doesn't care about black men in households. She supports and advocates for the transgender community who have compromised the essence of women's rights altogether, yet claims to care about women's rights at the same fucking time. She supports and advocates for banning firearms, yet has them in her home to protect herself and family. Meaning, push the propaganda for the rest of society, while living the complete opposite behind closed doors. They all do this, distort and twist the minds of the youth, while they do not truly embrace any of what they ramble on about in the public sphere. The self-loathing, deprived tone in her voice sums it up. Just another white liberal seeking attention and hiding behind the racial propaganda. And I know many of you individually and personally, and I know you are too. She is now using a racist dog whistle claiming that the federal government killed innocent Americans. Ten people. Is that so hard to believe? This same person would claim that the federal government is rooted in systemic racism, killing innocent black Americans. And guess what? All of the victims were black in the Buffalo so-called mass shooting. So, you use the same theory when it benefits the group who plays the victim in the racial matrix, but claim it's outrageous that those so-called victims were targeted from the government by Rogers. Let me elaborate. The left will claim the federal government targets the black community by systemic, institutional, 
and even quote, environmental racism. Within this targeting, wouldn't it be logical to also suggest that this same federal government executed this attack and created a narrative of domestic terrorism from a white supremacists? That's right up their alley, right? There of course is a grey area where the FBI and all other government agencies are the cause of all shooting hoaxes, racial or non-racial. Any shooting or mass shooting that makes national news is orchestrated by the federal government. Most people are aware of this, and this is why they are using damage control. And late tonight, Rogers releasing a lengthy statement about the quote firestorm her post created. She did not explain what she meant by that tweet. She did say in part, let me be very clear, I do not condone violent crime or racism. My heart breaks for those who were lost, who lost their lives, as well as for their families in this weekend shooting. Ever noticed how everything is a statement on social media? Where is the interview with Rogers by the news? For that matter, where is the coverage in Congress with her being questioned about those statements? Before the shooting hoax, Wendy Rogers was perhaps holding many press conferences, interviews, and events in the state of Arizona. But all of a sudden, it's like she's in a fucking witness protection program, where you don't physically hear or see her speak on this current issue. This is because, she never made those statements, but she allowed her image to take the hit for it. Even if she did make those statements, it's so blatantly scripted, intelligent Americans, such as yourselves, know it's all fake bogery. You don't just wake up and become, well, what they are claiming Rogers is, a white supremacists. This would have been evident in her days of running for senator, no information, or evidence of her in the past, making controversial statements, no evidence of her supporting or identifying as a white nationalist. We dug into it a bit, going back five years, nothing regarding white supremacy, white nationalism, just a typical politician. And the most recent content non-related to the current fuckery, is from August of 2021. At this point, which was approximately eight months ago, has nothing about white nationalism or so-called hate speech. All of a sudden, she's publicly speaking out about quote, being replaced by non-whites. I'm assuming, she just allowed herself to be used for the bigger plan, the political matrix. This shit doesn't happen overnight, right? In the scripted world of the political matrix, some bird brain puppet will pop up out of nowhere and be used for the game. Rogers sold out, not necessarily for money, but for power. She doesn't mind the negative image at all, because they are all narcissistic psychopaths anyway. Negative attention is still attention to them. Don't worry, we will dig deeper into the Buffalo shooting hoax. Had to establish the political side of it all first. Remember, this is all rooted in politics, so of course, Trump endorsed her. They have to link everything to Trump, because he is the face of the Republican Party. The agenda pushed, is these individuals are all elements of white supremacy, like Trump opened the floodgates for them to openly express those views without discretion. Nice try, but trying too hard. This is the chaos sector.